I'm here with Dr. Sharon Walmsley from the University Health Network, and we wanted to speak to her a little bit about her um, body of work and research on women in HIV. Um, I guess one question that's coming to my head is um, we've, over the past couple of days, we've noticed a lot of people are now talking about women in research. But from what I gather, that's something new that's happening. What would you say is um, salient in terms of women and HIV? Well, I think the important thing to recognize is that women represent a significant or half of the people infected with HIV in the world now. And much of the research that's been done to date has been done in cohorts of gay men. Mm -hmm. And women are not the same. And so therefore, in order to apply the results of research, we need to have a large number of women participating in the research so that the results that we come up with are, are apl applicable to them. And I think one of the, the big things that I tried to discuss in, in my uh, session today, it's just not about swallowing the pills. But women have very complex lives. There are many factors that can influence their ability to care for themselves, their families, and to take their treatments appropriately. And so we need to deal with those psychosocial issues, such as isolation, depression, the potential for violence, their worry about disclosure, things about poverty, having food, and we need to deal with all of those things in addition to dealing with specific HIV treatment and, it, and its, and its uh, toxicity. So in terms of your research work, what have you been doing to address women's issues in HIV? Uh, well, a number of uh, the clinical trials that we do, we specifically try to address questions of importance to women. So we have been participating in studies that look at uh, the human papillomavirus and its relationship to cervical disease in women. We have been participating in studies that have to deal with fertility and pregnancy issues uh, with regards to HIV. Um, I also sit on a, a group called Women for Positive Action, and uh, we have been trying to push the research agenda for women to ensure that the trials that we do uh, incorporate a large number uh, of women in them. And you talked a lot about quantitative mass. Is there any qualitative research that's been going on to kind of um, get the context of women in HIV research? Well, well, the qualitative is not my area of expertise. You know, I, I'm a clinical researcher and I, I do clinical trials, but certainly there are um, groups uh, throughout Ontario, particularly the behavioral group at the University of Toronto that does a lot of the, the qualitative type of research. Uh, and that's why conferences like this are important so that researchers from dis different disciplines can talk together and hear the results of each other's work so that you can ensure that those factors are incorporated uh, into your own studies. Okay. Um, I kind of want to go back and in terms of what issues do you feel are really salient for women. You talked a, few, a bit about pregnancy, um, also in terms of women's health. Is there any other issues that have been coming up as of late in your research that you feel needs to be um, discussed more or looked at more in research? So, so I think some of the major things on the agenda right now is should we be using the same doses of our drugs in women as we use in men? Uh, and the question is, because there seems to be more side effects in women, is it because the doses might be too high for women? So I think that's an important question. I think uh, some of the other ones is as women are living longer with HIV, they're now having to face many of the issues of aging and we talked about menopause, we talked about osteoporosis, we talked about the risk of various cancers and I think that those are things that we need to address mm -hmm. as our women living with HIV uh, are getting older and it's what impact does HIV have in addition mm -hmm. to just getting older. Okay and I guess to summarize what do you think is next in your research? Uh, well, um, we've got a number of things that are ongoing right now. We have uh, some research where we're looking at the impact of herpes virus at various stages of HIV and how that can influence outcomes in HIV and potentially complications. Uh, we're also embarking on some studies looking at inflammation in HIV and what, how that may influence some of the long-term complications of HIV therapy that we're seeing. And in particular, we're starting a, a group of studies on both 
bone disease and osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have some new um, machines in Toronto that can look at bone in different ways, not only looking at the density of bone, but looking at the structure of bone. And we're going to try and understand whether those can help us uh, in the management of people living with HIV better than, than our traditional treatments. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Walmsley, for coming in for a few minutes to talk about the, um, talked with us at the conference. Is there any other issues that you think that um, you would like to speak about in terms of women in HIV and research? Well, I think the important thing is for women to get involved. Okay. And we need your voice. So we need your voice on what's important to you, what is missing in the research agenda, and we need you to be part of our teams as we're planning our studies and helping us determine that what we're asking the participants in our studies to do are appropriate for women and that we're meeting your needs to enable you to be part of the research. And how might they be able to get involved if someone here sees something that and wants to get involved? Well, we uh, certainly have a website uh, for our hospital, and, and within the website we have our research team and all of the research uh, projects that are currently ongoing. Um, Katie is another important source of information that can let you uh, know about studies that are ongoing. And of course, the Canadian HIV Trials Network, of which many of the Ontario investigators are a part of, they have a website as well. Okay, cool. okay great. Thank you very much, Dr. Walmsley. Thank you.